The British Armoured Forces Command quickly recognised the need to provide commanders and their staffs with appropriate working conditions. The solution was to equip them with specially designed vehicles from which they could effectively command their subordinate tank units. The first prototypes of such vehicles were tested as early as the 1930. In addition to special command tanks, experiments were also conducted with cheaper wheeled armoured command vehicles. In 1937, the first batch of 15 vehicles was ordered, built on the Morris CS9 LAC4 by 4 chassis. In November 1939, another contract was signed for the construction of a new series of vehicles. 21 command vehicles were built on the Lizard chassis, which were larger and more spacious than their predecessors. A few of these vehicles were sent to Africa. However, the number of vehicles produced was still insufficient to meet the growing needs of the commands and staffs of the newly formed armoured brigades and divisions. In April 1940, the Ministry of War signed a contract for a larger number of vehicles based on the AEC Matador 4x4 chassis, which was commonly used as an artillery tractor and the chassis for the Deacon self-propelled gun. It was intended as a base for several specialised variants. Armoured Command Vehicle, ACV, Armoured Demolition Vehicle, ADV, for sapper units, equipped with a pile driver and compressor, armoured mine layer, AML, with a supply of mines laid using an external ramp, armoured personnel carrier, APC, capable of transporting 30 soldiers. Over time, the concepts for sapper and transport vehicles were abandoned, and the focus shifted to continued production of ACV. The remaining vehicles that had already been built were converted to this standard. The new command vehicles quickly gained popularity due to their spacious interiors and comfort. They were named Dorchester, after the famous London Hotel. Three of these vehicles were captured by the Germans in Africa and used by General Erwin Rommel's staff under the name Mammoth.